Hello there, how are you doing? Hope you're all doing well. Ah, did I fool you? Did I? Hiya, welcome back. Today I am finishing Chloe Rose Art's art, I guess. In her last video, she made a lovely blob, a reversed colouring page, and I was inspired to either finish it or ruin it by adding some lines. You can be the judge of that. Her art is always very good, so let's see what we can make of it. This is blob number one. And of course I listen to Chloe when she says What will make a huge difference is if you use a pen with a flexible tip. So I've got a pen with flexible tip. An editing brush pen. Okay, the first blob was meant to be palm trees, coconuts, all the things. But hear me out. What if it's not that, but it's a bird? I'm drawing the beak here and his eyes and around his eyes there's these beautiful big green fluffy feathers can you see it once i saw it i couldn't not see it i imagine him poking his head through sort of a hole in like a cloud-like cave so that's what i'm drawing here and this is the moment where I find out the pen is not that great. I mean, it's good, but it doesn't dry up. So my hand is covered, the paper is covered, everywhere are splodges of the pen. Hooray. A piece of tissue to the rescue. Hopefully that will prevent any more ruination of this beautiful artwork. However, I do think this is a very fun exercise. Just you get a blob and try and make something out of it. So I did actually, of course, see the palm trees first, but I thought it would be fun to make it into something else. And quite quickly, I saw the big bird. So I thought, let's do that. So it's a big bird with fluffy eyes and he's sort of poking his head into a um, cloud-like cave. And of course he's covered in feathers, as you can see, these little stripes, they are clearly feathers. And he's poking his head in maybe to feed loads of little birds or baby birds. You can see all the different birds being created here. They all look slightly different because all the blobs are different. So it really challenges you like, where do I see another bird? Because I wonder to fill the, the nest or the cave with birds so I was really looking for some bird shapes um, even though they're quite weird sometimes like the one I'm creating now he's sort of like an angry like I'm gonna storm at you all kind of bird so yeah that's completely different from all the other ones I also added a little bit of texture on the white so it seems like the cave is a little bit more expanding and I added a little worm shape in the middle because apparently that's food. So everyone is gathering around to enjoy this unfortunate little worm. And here I thought, let's make the green feathers a little bit more green. However, after I did that, it also looked a little bit more like palm trees again. So yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. And of course, there's a snail. Yeah. <laughs> and with the snail, this crazy bird's drawing is complete. Next up is the second one, the second blob. And I'm putting this in Photoshop because I thought it would be fun if I can make one of those mirror images. At first I was aiming for a butterfly. But then suddenly I saw a bear. How can I not make a bear when it's Chloe's artwork, right? 
She always makes bears. Now, I've never made any bears, so bear with me. I printed it, looked at it for a while, turned it upside down, turned it back and started. I looked up some reference pictures and got to work. Starting with the nose, that was most clear to me, and the eyes. He had a little bit of a pouty face, so I went with it. And the ears might be a tad too big, but you know, let's not talk about it. I was wondering why he's looking inwards to basically do his nose and then I saw this green little blob on his nose. So I made a little green creature on his nose. Look how cute! I did start noticing about the pen that the tip was not as fine anymore so the more I drew with it the less like detailed I could get. So together with this plodging um, I'm not that big a fan of this pen. I do like that it's a brush pen that you can do thick lines and thinner lines and stuff but besides that not not a great fan. Now let's talk about this little guy that I'm drawing because I thought there's a little guy on his nose maybe there's a big guy protecting the little guy or something I don't know but I, this guy's a little bit weird so I could have done without this one he has wings he's big his head is small <sighs> let's move on I'm adding some flower-like shape in the background and some leaves and some overall decorations. Just where I see some shapes, I'm just filling it in. Also, the paws of the bear are up in the air as if he wants to catch something, like the little guy on his nose, or maybe this little cat kind of creature that is also catching something with his paws in the air. That was actually too small to draw with any detail. Adding some twirly bits here and there just to fill everything up nicely. Adding some highlighter but the black paint is still wet so it doesn't really work. And then there's the dots. So many dots and that's that that is my lovely bear painting complete thank you so much chloe rose art for the inspiration and for the blob i will of course link her original video down below so you can watch that i hope you all enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye